Have you ever paused to consider how the ancient Egyptians constructed the magnificent pyramids without the technology we have today? Imagine vast structures piercing the sky, a testament to human ingenuity, all built without the use of modern machinery or tools. The pyramids of Egypt are not merely relics of the past, but enigmas that continue to baffle us today. Over the years, numerous theories have been proposed, each attempting to explain the construction of these architectural marvels. Some suggest the use of complex ramp systems, others propose the use of water channels to float the massive stones into place. Yet the truth remains elusive, shrouded in the sands of time. What we do know is that the ancient Egyptians were master builders, their workmanship unparalleled, their ambition unbounded. Today, we delve deep into the history of these majestic structures to unravel the secrets behind their construction. The construction of a pyramid was no small feat. It required meticulous planning and designing. Now imagine yourself in ancient Egypt, a civilization without the convenience of modern tools or technology. The task in front of you? Erect a colossal pyramid, a structure so grand and precise that it would leave future generations in awe. First, the location had to be chosen wisely. The ground needed to be solid enough to hold the weight of the structure. The pyramids were also situated on the west bank of the Nile, where the sun sets, symbolizing the realm of the dead in Egyptian mythology. Once the site was selected, the real challenge began. The Egyptians had to align these massive structures with the cardinal points, a task they accomplished with astonishing precision. It's speculated that they achieved this by observing the position of the sun or perhaps the pole star. But it doesn't end there. The Egyptians also had to calculate the pyramid's slope meticulously. This angle, known as the pyramid's angle of inclination, was vital. It determined the pyramid's height and the amount of materials needed for construction. A steep angle could cause the structure to collapse, while a shallow angle would result in a short squat pyramid. Striking the perfect balance was crucial. Designing the internal layout was another feat. The pyramids were not just piles of rocks. They contained intricate passageways, hidden chambers and grand burial rooms. The design had to accommodate these features while maintaining the pyramid's stability. And all of this had to be planned in advance. There was no room for trial and error. Every stone, every passage, every angle was predestined and calculated. The Egyptians had no second chances. Their blueprint was their guide, and their precision was their weapon. The Egyptians' architectural prowess is evident in the precision and complexity of their design. The pyramids, these testaments to human ingenuity and endurance, stand tall, a reflection of a civilization that dared to reach for the heavens, armed with nothing but their knowledge, their tools, and their unwavering determination. The pyramids were built using massive blocks of limestone and granite, but where did these materials come from? Well, the answer lies in the heart of Egypt itself. The limestone used in the construction was sourced locally from the Giza Plateau. This stone was easily accessible and provided the vast quantities needed. On the other hand, the granite was a bit trickier. This robust material was quarried from Aswan, located some 500 miles south of Giza. Transporting this heavy material was no small feat and is a testament to the engineering prowess of the Egyptians. To extract these materials, they used copper and stone tools. Yes, you heard it right, copper. Despite its softness, it was the hardest metal available to the Egyptians and they used it to their advantage. The sheer scale of the materials required for these structures is a testament to the Egyptians' impressive logistical capabilities. Transporting these massive stone blocks from the quarries to the construction site was a challenge in itself. But the ancient Egyptians, with their ingenuity and resourcefulness, found a way to meet this challenge head-on. They utilized the life-giving Nile River, the longest river in the world, as a transport route. The blocks of limestone and granite, each weighing several tons, were loaded onto specially designed boats. With the help of the Nile's powerful current and the strength of skilled navigators, these colossal stone blocks were transported from the quarries in the south to the pyramid construction sites in the north, but the journey didn't end there. Once the blocks reached their destination, they had to be moved from the riverbanks to the construction site. Here's where the sledges came into play. 
These were essentially large wooden sleds, specifically designed to carry these immense weights. Teams of workers, sometimes in the hundreds, would then pull these sledges across the desert sands. Now you might be thinking, that sounds like an impossible task. And you'd be right, except for one fascinating discovery. Recent research suggests that the Egyptians had a trick up their sleeve to make this job easier. They used water to wet the sand ahead of the sledge. This simple but effective method reduced the friction between the sledge and the sand, making it significantly easier to pull. Imagine that. Thousands of years ago, without the benefit of modern technology or machinery, the Egyptians were employing principles of physics to build some of the most magnificent structures the world has ever seen. We often marvel at the pyramids themselves, and rightfully so, but let's not forget the monumental effort that went into transporting the materials for their construction. This was a feat of engineering, a testament to human determination and ingenuity, and a crucial piece of the puzzle in our understanding of how the pyramids were built. These ingenious strategies allowed the Egyptians to move enormous weights across great distances. It's a testament to the incredible ingenuity of a civilization that continues to captivate us thousands of years later. The construction process involved lifting and positioning heavy blocks with precision. How was this achieved, you may ask? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of ancient Egyptian engineering. Theories abound regarding the methods used to lift these colossal blocks onto the pyramids. One such theory suggests that the Egyptians used a system of ramps and levers. Ramps made of mud, brick and rubble would have provided a surface upon which the blocks could be dragged upwards. But of course, ramps alone wouldn't suffice. The blocks, after all, weighed up to several tons each. To move these massive weights, the Egyptians would have also needed levers. Levers, simple machines that magnify force, could have been used to pry the blocks up onto the ramps. Now. Imagine the scene. Hundreds, perhaps even thousands of workers hauling these enormous blocks up the ramps while others use levers to help position the blocks precisely. The sheer manpower required for such a task is staggering to consider. It's a testament to the organizational skills of the ancient Egyptians as well as their physical strength and endurance. But the use of ramps and levers is just one theory. Other theories suggest the use of complex pulley systems or even water-filled trenches to float the blocks into place. These theories, while intriguing, lack concrete evidence and are not widely accepted. What is clear, however, is that the ancient Egyptians had a deep understanding of basic physics principles. They knew how to use tools and manpower to their advantage, enabling them to accomplish tasks that seem nearly impossible, even by today's standards. This understanding, combined with their determination and ingenuity, allowed them to overcome the enormous challenges they faced in constructing the pyramids. The end result? Structures so grand and enduring that they continue to captivate us thousands of years later. Despite the lack of modern technology, the Egyptians found ways to overcome the enormous challenges they faced. Their legacy, embodied in the standing pyramids, is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and perseverance. The completion of a pyramid was not the end of its story. Rather, it was just the beginning of a tale that would span millennia, capturing the imagination of countless generations. These grand structures were not simply architectural wonders, they were sacred tombs, final resting places for pharaohs, designed to guide their souls into the afterlife. Each pyramid, with its intricate interior designs and celestial alignments, was a testament to the pharaoh's divine status and the Egyptian belief in an eternal life beyond mortal existence. The pyramids were also a powerful symbol of authority and prosperity. Their colossal size and the vast resources required for their construction reflected the strength and wealth of the pharaohs who commissioned them. In a society where religion and politics were deeply intertwined, the pyramids served as a constant reminder of the pharaoh's divine right to rule. As centuries turned into millennia, the pyramids continued to stand tall, their resilience against the sands of time making them a symbol of enduring strength. They became a source of national pride, a tangible connection to a rich and glorious past. Even as the dynasties that built them faded into the annals of history, the pyramids remained 
silently bearing witness to the ebb and flow of civilizations. Today, they continue to fascinate us. Scholars and enthusiasts alike are drawn to their enigmatic allure, striving to unlock the secrets they hold. Every new discovery, every piece of the puzzle unearthed, only adds to their intrigue, reminding us of the remarkable capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. In a world where change is constant, the pyramids are an enduring marker of human achievement. They are a testament to our capacity for innovation, our ability to dream big and push the boundaries of what is possible. The pyramids, a marvel of human ingenuity and determination, continue to stand as a testament to the remarkable capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. From planning to completion, the construction of the pyramids was a monumental endeavor. The architects who crafted these designs demonstrated a remarkable understanding of geometry and engineering. The use of local limestone and granite not only speaks to the resourcefulness of the ancient Egyptians, but also their deep understanding of the materials at their disposal. The Nile and sledges were instrumental in the transportation of these massive stones, showing us the ingenuity of these ancient builders in utilizing their environment. The incorporation of ramps and levers further underscores their technological prowess. As we've explored, the legacy of these pyramids is not just in their physical form, but also in the mysteries and fascination they continue to inspire. Recent discoveries have only deepened our appreciation and respect for these incredible structures. As we marvel at these magnificent structures, we are reminded of the ingenuity, determination and sheer willpower of the people who built them.